So, update on my packing for my, my move back down. Hi, Blue. Since I've lost so much weight, I only have very few clothes. Like, I, this is all the clothes I have. These are the two bags I have to, like, that I'm parting with. It's really weird. It's like, when you have to go through your clothes, you realize how many things you don't want to let go of, but you don't ever even wear them. Like, I, I've never worn this shirt. But I just, I don't want to get rid of it. I, and I, I've only worn this one once, but I just don't want to let go. It's, it's just strange, right? Ooh, I just <laughs> fell into the <laughs> And my name tag from when I was a cast member for three weeks. <laughs> and if you're wondering, like, what I'm listening to, which you're not at all, I'm listening to Boyce Avenue, which I love them. They're probably... My top two favorite musicians. Of <gasps> Who's that little girly girl? You want to come in? One goes in, one goes out. Nope. Oh, see, look, it's snowing. Come on, come in. Hello. Is your mom making a mess? Did your mom make the living room a mess? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. And we're all like in this quarantine, but not us because like, you know, nurses don't get to do that. So we've been still working and guess what? My mom is very sick right now. She's been sitting, well sleeping in her room all day and I hope it's nothing serious. And I know when I get back, Disney's going to be closed, but for very good reasoning. So I'm not even upset about it. I will just settle it back into my cozy little home and apartment, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, and it's my birthday. And another thing I think that's making me really sad is that nobody's able to come say goodbye to me. So I, I can't see my brother. I can't see my cousin Kira. I'm not going to see my grandmother. And I'm kind of sad about that, but <laughs> nothing you can do. I wonder if Boyce Avenue is coming to Epcot again. Because it's like, you know, like, like, it's not like, you know, like those 90s bands and like those 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s bands that are like, we're going to go to Epcot and perform. Like, this is like something I legitimately get so excited about. And I also love Postmodern Jukebox. I get so excited when they come to Epcot because it's like, in a way, since I am an annual pass, like, it's like a free concert for me. And I, I'm like that weirdo rocking out, having a good old time. Now, every time I go to my mom's house, when I used to live in Pennsylvania, I would leave with a souvenir. I was like, you know, like a souvenir for my time visiting. I know exactly what souvenirs I need to take this time. I am definitely one of those people that have no shame when it comes to like what I look like on camera anymore. But I need to get my mom out of her bedroom so that I can sneak some scrubs that fit me. Like there's one down here in the laundry room, but there, I need to get out there. Like, I need a lot more souvenirs than just some toilet paper, but that is the prime gold. <laughs> My mom goes, because I'm like, can I have some silverware? She finds this rusty old thing in the basement and goes, there you go, you could take that. <laughs> what the heck? More of that silverware downstairs in the basement somewhere. This looks like it came from no, the bottom of it, the ocean. It did not. And it looks like something from the Little Mermaid no, that was found encrusted in the sea. One of them might have got ruined. One of them? <laughs> Listen, I had two sets of silverware. At the time, you were staying here, so I gave the other set to Kira. What? This what? what? You gave the other set to Kira? Because. I'm this taking is the good no, set. That is it. my good set. And it's enough for 14 people, and you are not getting rid of it. You don't even have 14 friends. I will friends. have 14 friends here <laughs> someday. She's crazy. Progress is being made. I'm wearing my retainer. It's my birthday today. I'm 29. Again. Again. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably have already seen this part, but I was trying to do a, a little like cake smash thing where like it's a 30th birthday cake smash. It's like when like little kids like get the board set up and I, I did um I did this board. It says, you know, Veronica and my height, my weight not ideal and things I don't like. If you notice, there's icing all over it. There's icing all over my hands because guess what? When I was doing this cake smash, I dropped the cake. I just pulled a lighter out of here. Oh, I got icing on my arm. The camera's covered. I dropped the cake. All right, come give me a hug goodbye. All right, you ready to go? Yep. You got everything you need? 
I think so. All the essentials. All the essentials. Just, just come give me a hug goodbye. I gotta get All out right. of here. I don't All feel right. good, so I don't want to get too in your Oh, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sneaking nothing out this time. You can trust no. me, okay? Yeah. Don't worry, I would never sneak anything out. <laughs> you cannot fit much in a beetle. All right, drive update. We are still in Pennsylvania. Okay, now I know that we're actually kind of moving along because we got three lanes happening here. That is a good sign. Actually, if we want to be real here, that means I only got from Scranton to pass Blue Bear. This trip is not looking very promising here because I am only like been driving for a half hour and we're already at the first rest area. Isn't she so cute? Look at how cute my baby is. She's probably like, thank you for letting me go for a little walkie there, mom. I've been wanting to go for a nice little walkie do. Maybe she's gonna take a little poopy. Oh <gasps> yeah. So she definitely had to go potty. And Gracie's little poop bags, they, they're like little poops <laughs> and they say, Poopy happens. Poopy happens. Does it happen? Come on, let's like, let's gallivant. You want to gallivant? Oh, this is fun. It could tell. Oh, we're going pee pee too. A lot of TMI happening here on this quick little trip. And people did not pick up after their pets. Gross, gross, gross. This is just literally a landmine of poopy. Poopy here, poopy there, poopy everywhere. We gotta get out of here. My happy girl in my happy car. Who's my happy girl? And I'll leave. Just don't give it to you. Yo! Hi, Bobby. Hi, Ken. We did it. We are out of Pennsylvania. We're in Maryland. I am so happy that I am out. I feel so. I feel like a relief off my chest. And I'm not even like remotely halfway there or anything, and I feel so relieved. I <laughs> we just left West Virginia, and now we are in Virginia, and I love their welcome center because it's like all about love, and it's like got the cutest like little signs. And I'm gonna go show it to Gracie, girl. See what I was talking about, Gracie? Do you see it? <gasps> love. That's what I have for you. I have so much love for you. Aww. I don't know if she's impressed with it. I think she is. Are you impressed? Are you impressed? Oh, Gracie, no, over here. No, Gracie, wrong way. Come on. There is a fossil digging <laughs> sand pit for everyone. Or it's a litter box for stray cats. It is so beautiful out and I and, and the sun is shining and it's so warm and I don't have to winter wear a coat. I don't have to wear a winter coat and I don't have to wear my winter hat and everything's happy and my car looks happy and my doggy looks happy. Flowers. More flowers. My flower. Down, down, and an earlier ran off just a little bit because he didn't act that because there ain't no holla back to run. Heavy, there's vomit on a sweater already. Mom. New York, New York, New York. So we just pulled over at a rest area in Virginia and this couple came over to me and they're like, um, where's your dog? And I was like, excuse me? And they're like, we were at the last rest area you were at. Oh! <laughs> I get I get creeped out easily. Do you guys honestly keep taking out my retainer so I can talk to you? <laughs> I'm not that innocent. We're still in Virginia. We have been in Virginia for about eight hours now. Do you see the Appalachian Mountains with that beautiful sunset? Isn't that really pretty? Chicken. So if you're wondering kind of like what it's like to be driving this route during this pandemic that's happening, these all the alert signs that are on the highway all the way from literally Scranton to now, they say um, stay at home, avoid congestion, social distance, do not be traveling if you don't need to. I'm, I'm traveling obviously because I'm going back to my home, but um, 
Yeah, the, there, there are alerts on like every single sign saying stop spreading COVID. Oh, and also at the rest areas, I should be showing you guys this stuff. It's like, it's kind of interesting to document. Um, none of the vending machines. So at all the rest areas, every single one of them, the vending machines are closed. And um, about like every three aren't even open at all. But um, it's just strange because like we keep McDonald's employees working but we're not going to I mean, I mean, but we're gonna close down a vending machine because and the signs are on the vending machines that say because of COVID-19 we do not have vending machines running right now we got handles for the doors I'm not going to lie I was actually really nervous about how this drive was going to go with everything happening um, but so far it's been okay. A lot of the rest areas are open still and like drive throughs are still open. I don't know how much longer they will stay open. But um, I, I, I start work soon so I had really no choice but to leave right now. Um, it just, it's, it's all very surreal. And I do take it very seriously. I don't understand anyone that is running around the parks right now. It's um, not about you. It's kind of an eerie beautiful. I like it a lot. So yeah, in Pennsylvania, the job that I was working at there, um, the patients are on lockdown so they cannot have any visitors at all, no matter what. Like there's no exceptions to the rules except for hospice. Um, but anyway, um, every time we get to work we have to check in and we get our temperature checked and everything and um, every time we go in and out for any reason we are temperature checked and everything so it's such a unique sunset right now. oh it's focusing on the dang bugs are you kidding me oh come along now oh I don't even know what those bugs names were wow it took us I mean, I don't know, probably 12 hours to get out of um, Virginia. We are finally in North Carolina. I am so excited to be out of Virginia. I don't even know why. The states all kind of are starting to look the same. Well, they, they, you know, it's like trees change, you know? But it's dark out now, so I mean, I'm starting to get a little, little, uh, I'm ready to be. Tractor trailers and all others. I guess I'm another. Cars with trailers and cars with nothing. I guess I'm that. Um, I'm definitely stopping in North Carolina for tonight. But I'm gonna go stretch out little Gracie's legs and let her go potty. Oh, that that that's because my windows were fogging up and I, I don't know, I get so confused with all these, these bojangles. Quick question, what did you guys think of that like whole beautiful like 20 minutes of me singing my heart out to you with my absolutely stunning singing voice leave a comment below if that changed your life forever for the better if it changed your life for the worse also let me know thank you see my windows keep getting like foggy anyway for the first time of the trip we are in standstill traffic oh i look awful so it's been a little bit since i've said anything to the camera um, I'm going to get some gas and we are going to finish our trip in the morning. I took a little break in North Carolina <clears throat> just to um, kind of sleep and rest because I didn't want to do a straight shot through. It's been a little while. I hear they have good slushies here. I mean, I don't know for sure, but you didn't hear it from me. Look at that sunrise. We got a beautiful one today. Look, Gracie, isn't that beautiful? Well, it was. <laughs> if you guys need landscaping, he's your guy. Okay, I just saw roller coasters. I don't, oh, it must be Carowinds. Um, I'm like a total theme park junkie, it's like amusement park theme park. I don't know, I've never been there. Wait, let's see if we can see them. <gasps> there they are, there's a roller coaster. Gracie, you seeing that? You see that, honey? Visitors must quarantine right now, South Carolina law. So that means we made it. We are in South Carolina. We are getting closer. We have Georgia and then we're here. We're home. And there is like on all the signs that they want you to quarantine when you get here. And they also, there's a lot of signs that say like, stay inside and they, they talk about the social distancing and all of that. I 
think it's a pretty awful time to be moving. You know when you're driving for like a long distance and you get like that driving buddy? Like I don't know if anybody else does this, but like me and that red car, we were really getting close. Like we were friends and like we were following each other for a long time and it's like time for me to say goodbye to a friend. I feel like I'm losing someone and um, I hope wherever you're going, it's wonderful. I'm going to miss you so much because you were doing such good timing and I'm not a real good leader. Goodbye. You guys are probably like, please don't do this. This song reminds me of being like 11 years old and going to the middle school dances and like doing that like one stupid dance that we all did where we're like, you know? Okay, right up here is an example of like the signs that you see like every mile. It says, stay alive, stay home, hashtag COVID-19. What a hashtag to have. Um, anyway, I cannot wait to get home and get off this road. I'm tired and I'm ready to just curl up in a ball on my couch and do nothing. Although I can't stay doing that, but it'll be fun for a little while. This is the first rest area that I have seen on the way down that has been open. I am excited to let little Gracie, I, I feel like I'm talking like a book, like a book on tape. This is the first rest area that we have seen open. Um, the pet area is to the left, but I don't want to be by all those trucks. So we're going to park right here. Gracie's like my best friend. She's like my little co-pilot and we go everywhere together and do everything together. And she doesn't complain about anything. She's just like the best little best friend in the world. Are you the best little best friend ever? We gotta go, let's go, let's go. We wanna get to Florida, right? We wanna see palm trees, wrong way. That's the way. That long blonde hair. We just went past a sign that said South Carolina law. All visitors must self quarantine now for 14 days. I'm pretty excited because guess what we got, you guys? We got a new driving buddy. This blue Mustang and I have been like friends for a while. Like every time that I go over to let him pass me and he sees that I get behind a slow truck, he like flashes his lights before I even turn on my blinker. Like, go ahead, girlfriend. Like, you go for it. <laughs> you guys know what I mean by that? But I don't know. He's going at like a grueling pace. Like, I don't know that I can truly keep up with him. He's got to be going over a hundred. I don't know, buddy. I don't know if we're gonna make it as friends. I just, I can't see it happening. And I also have not seen one palm tree yet. And see, okay, here's that sign. Visitors must quarantine right now. South Carolina law. Let's see, can you see? I'm technically a visitor because I don't live here, but we, we really gotta get out of here. Okay, now we're like getting a lot closer, but we know that we need to like remain six feet away. Well, maybe when driving you have to remain more. I think it's like the rule is five seconds. Okay, we're getting a little close to our friend here. But it's like one, two, three, and then you're on their dot. I don't know, I learned it in driving school, but that was like 20 years ago. Not really, because I'm not even, that would have made me 10 when I went to driving school. Never mind. Don't take advice from me, okay? doesn't really have an interest in being friends with me or in a relationship with me period I'm trying to keep up with him but it's like he keeps running away from me I don't know that this love story is going to last and I'm sorry that there's not more story to this one left to tell but I can't even say it who's away she If you're leaving, baby, let me down slowly, let me down. Oh, what if I lean in and the stars line up and it's our last first kiss? What if I leave you? What if I find somebody else and I don't need you? You don't own me. We're breaking up with him right now. I have to get gas, that's why, but we're gonna pretend that like he's been controlling. He has been acting so controlling and he's been like telling me which way to go in. But you know what? We're gonna move on. We are moving on. Don't tell me what to do. We got our first box. 
trees. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so we did it. We made it to Georgia. I don't know why I said we did it when we didn't do anything but make it to another state. And we're out of gas almost. And I need to give her some some uh, walkie time. Whoa, I shouldn't be flashing these bad boys around here. What the heck? Toilet paper, mom, toilet paper. I got it in the window. <laughs> Beautiful. I've had to stop and get gas one time this whole trip and I picked the most stressful gas station on the whole stinking highway. I swear, I swear. I swear, I look for signs that say like easy on, easy off. I picked one that said easy on, easy off and it was the most stressful exit. If you are traveling through Georgia, do not take exit. I, let me figure out which one this is. This is exit, oh, please hold. Okay, well there's mile marker 108. So it was like probably exit either 107 or 109 or it was exit 109. It was exit 109, I remember now, I remember. And this was supposed to be a trip with my mom and my brother. This whole journey was supposed to be, but because of what's going on, my mom and my brother could not come with me and canceled everything. So that's why it's just me and little Gray on our little journey. Now I was about to get in another relationship with a truck up ahead, but um, I decided it's too soon. And you know, I'm just gonna spend some time on my own and like just take my own journey. It's just too soon to rush back into any committed relationship for me right now. So thanks for the offer truck, but you're on your own. I am really upset right now. I just realized we are not seeing south of the border because we got on 77 and went down 95 that way. And we missed south of the border. I was like looking out, I'm like, did we pass that? And I didn't notice. There's no way I would miss that stinking sombrero. But guess what? We are not even passing it. I am heartbroken. I wanted to go see Pedro Land and show you guys. I wanted to show Gracie the, the dog park. I mean, she's been to it a few times, but I'm just, I can't believe that we're not going to see Pedro Land. <laughs> okay, Georgia is not a place that I could ever say I want to live. There is no palm trees except for right here. And the only reason I think that there are palm trees right here, and this is, this is my theory, is because we are in Florida in two miles. So like, they're like trying to get us like super excited. They're like, guess what, guess what, guess what? You are almost in Florida. I, wait, don't even, oh, dang it. Now, since we are coming up to the Florida um, border, I have, I've seen on the news this weekend that um, they are, they are like checking people like travelers and anyone that's like in New York is getting turned away so the line was really backed up from the news showing people coming from 95 into Florida and I'm not seeing anything yet not yet here's the bridge every time I go to Florida since I was one year old we have taken pictures in front of the welcome center welcome to Florida sign not this one which this one's wonderful too I'm so thrilled but um, the one that's up here, and um, it's closed. The Welcome Center is closed, and this is my last time moving to Florida for for like a long, long time. Like I'm not leaving ever again. Oh no, I can't do my picture. Oh dear. But we're in Florida. We made it. We're in Florida. There is no one checking any IDs or checking cars or anything still. And this is the way station. Um, I see cops, one right there and then one right there. Well, they're not coming for me right now. They might in a second, but they're not in the moment. This says checkpoint ahead. So we, never mind, we are getting checked. All right, we are definitely getting checked, all of us. Um, let's see. This song reminds me of Olive Garden. <laughs> I have a sun pass. This is where the trucks are going, and this is where the cars go. I'm gonna stay with the cars, even though I almost just hit that cone. Don't, don't be goofy, stay. Don't, don't be goofy, stay on. COVID-19 checkpoint ahead one mile. All vehicles, right lane. 
Okay, so we're getting redirected into the wait station and then up here you can see all the officers are up here and they're going to check us now. I don't know what they're gonna check for. I think just to see if we're not from New York, New Jersey or Connecticut and we're not, so that's perfect. And I have Florida plates and Florida license and Florida nursing license and all that stuff, so I should be good. I don't know if, I'm just gonna set you guys down in my lap. And there's some Gracie dog treats. Maybe you guys can look at those for a minute. Georgia. Okay, thank you. Well, that was kind of uneventful. I mean, all that he wanted to know is where I traveled from. I said Georgia because that is the last state I just came from. I'm so happy to be here. I love it. There's palm trees everywhere. There's happiness. There's blue skies. There's clouds. There's smiles. Well, I haven't seen any smiles. Well, mine and Gracie's smiling. Look at how beautiful that fluffy one is. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, and we're going over a bridge. Florida. I love Florida not just for Disney. I mean that's a huge bonus, but like I've always loved Florida and I've always wanted to live here. I like my whole life. Like these are some things about me. Like I have a bucket list and it's handwritten and I wrote it when I was younger and I have on it own a Dalmatian, own a Volkswagen Beetle convertible, lived in Florida. I have like things like that written on there. Go see Disneyland. And I have a lot of things I'm getting crossed off there and I, I'm I'm really excited about it. Like I'm like I really took this bucket list that always was goals and dreams that I had, like become a nerd, like you know, like things like that. And I crossed them off and I'm, I'm kind of getting pretty far on my bucket list. Like I legitimately am crossing off all the things I always wanted to do with my life. But um, living in Florida was a big one for me and I moved here in 2014. No, I moved here I moved to Florida in 2015 and this whole me being away from Florida thing was only very temporary. It was just to help my mom out and get through the winter. I wasn't much of a help. All I did was work. I didn't really do much of anything, but um, I, I kept her company and I was nice. I was there, you know, it's like a body. All right, we are officially getting on I-4 right now, which is great. It's my favorite highway in the entire world, even when it's busy and crazy, because it's the only highway that I can see Magical Express buses, and, and I can see all these Disney World billboards and all of that wonderful, fun stuff. And, and there we go. There's a sign right up here on the corner that I love very much, and it's got Mickey. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is he? Oh. There it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Will of the cows. Uh, right there. Welcome to, welcome to magic. Do you see it? I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so happy to be back. Now I did living in Orlando all last summer like I, I was here I just wasn't vlogging or doing anything like that I, I was just working and going to the parks and gallivanting around and thinking about starting a vlog but then I would be like no no one's gonna like it and then I'm like I'm gonna like it so let's start it and that's how that all like came about I just saw a sign for Zaxby's and every time I see a sign for Zaxby's it reminds me of the time that this this family robbed me for chicken wings. What a bizarre story, I'll have to tell you guys sometime. Well, I was like, okay, it happened at a Target. It was ridiculous. It was when I first moved to Orlando too. Everyone that I tell about the chicken wing robbing story thinks that I was the dumbest person in the entire world throughout the whole thing. But these people, like, they came up to my car, they're like, we're starving, we need money. I said, I don't have money. And then they said, well, then you can buy us food because I didn't have cash and I didn't really even have any money because I just moved to Orlando and we really were broke. And they grabbed my mirror on my car and they they dragged my car, well, told me that I was I wouldn't know how to drive away because I, I was always told by my mom that if someone's robbing you, give them whatever they want. Nothing is worth your life. Give them anything. That's what I was told and I did what I was told and I was, everybody laughs at me and says I should have just drove away, but I didn't know if they had anything, you know? Like, I was scared. I, I never was robbed for chicken wings before. We're getting super close. Pretty soon we'll be coming up on a national monument. Hi. 
I was going to film like going past um, Orlando, the actual city, which I think I'm gonna have to make this drive every day to get to work. And um, it's been so construction-y and crazy. I was unable to like pull out the camera without like paying attention to the road. It's like a go-kart track trying to get through the city. I don't know if you can see it back there. We just went past all of it, but that was rough. When I first moved to Orlando, I lived off exit 78, the Holy Land exit and the Millennium Mall exit. And I kind of, you know, we moved down here blind where, um, meaning like we didn't look at the apartment before we moved here and we had no friends down here. Um, so we moved, <laughs> there, there's um, Holy Land right there. And it was a lot brighter and freakier than that. But um, it was a really bad first year here. Uh, our apartment complex was horrible. Everything was scary. Um, my first job was terrifying. I, I have never been, I got robbed for chicken wings. It was just not very good at first. I mean, it got so much better, but it started off pretty rough. <laughs> it was the Orlando Bridge. I always wanted my picture up there. And then like have someone driving and like pull off and see me. It would never work, but you know. We're almost home, guys. We're almost home. <laughs> it feels so good to be back. You have no idea. You smell that? You smell that? That's the Lynx buses. Yay! There's the eye and the, the spinny thing that I did. We're here! The Orlando eye is lit up right now as an American flag. I don't know that you can tell. We are heading to Walmart to get some groceries. Can you see it? Ah, yeah, there we go. I'm at Walmart right now getting groceries. And they have this announcement often. going off. Stay home if you are sick and practice good social separation of at least. That was it. That was moving to Orlando. I don't know how this vlog went. I'm sure I have been gifted probably about 10 copyright strikes for the drive down and all the music that I was playing. Um, it wasn't a bad drive. I thought that driving right now was going to be horrible, but it wasn't that bad. I mean, most of the rest areas were still open. Only a couple of them were closed, which is not a big deal. It's really not. I cannot wait to get back to Disney. I guess I'm going to do some more vlogs while I'm here. I'm so glad that we are back home. I am so glad that we can go to Disney World soon when everything's settled down. I start work next week. I am ready to get going. I'm so excited. I'm so glad you guys are here with me on this journey. Stay safe, everybody. And remember, we have a lot more story left to tell. Oh my gosh, actually, we... If you're new to the channel, I'd love if you subscribed and came on our adventures with us. If you enjoyed this video, give it a little thumbs up. If you didn't, I don't know what to tell you. Um, if you have something to say, you can leave me a little comment down below. I enjoy those so much. Joey and I are having breakfast, and I don't like these ones because the bunny ones taste a lot like peanut butter. So I'm going to go with these ones, and Joey is going to go oh, with the bunnies. I eat my cereal dry. I don't put milk in it. So Joey has to stay at the counter. Anyway, Joey got qu got some questions for you. Listen, what? Oh, in the back of your cereal box. What do I got? Actual reality glasses. Huh. Okay. How many calories do you got in a serving? I guess I'll do the back of cereal box later. But okay. Let's go. Oh, I didn't know you were still working on it. How long does it take you to do a back of a cereal box? You're 28 years old. I thought you'd have it mastered. What's your calories on the bunnies you versus want, the balls? Do you want half a milk, cup of milk, skim milk, or do you want without it? Without it. 170. Wow, me too. Total fat. That's what the key is. 4.5 grams to 5%. Wow, okay. What do you got for trans fat? I have none. Me neither. Sodium? <laughs> 110 milligrams. Same. What do you got for protein? I got three. Same. Okay, here's one that's weird on mine. How much iron do you get? Hey, you guys. You know what I want you to do today? We're in the middle of a serious conversation. But the dog needs to be washed before we go. We are in a serious con. In the car. We are in the middle of a very serious talk. Compare in the same cereal box? 
But he says bunnies. Not he, the same. he has more bunny. Sh it does one. taste different. It, it does more, taste different. It more better. peanut butter. It's so fresher. that's why I had questions. And we were talking about it. And you come out here and act like conversations about me. Well, anyway, me and the dog. About you and the wash and the dog. Yeah. I don't know what old ladies do by themselves. <laughs> Have cats? You don't like cats, so you're. <laughs> I can't open my own fire stick. Please. It really is all Christmas stuff from December. I'm a little disappointed too. What happened to that old sing along? Are they on here? <gasps> the sing along songs? Yeah. That's on YouTube. We don't need that remote anymore. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Let's watch that. No, please. It's my last day here. Give me. We're, we're no. Thank you anyway. Go. Well, actually. What? Granny's got tons for you, and I know what you were doing there. You're like, I'm going to buy Granny a 60-pack, so that way I end up with them. Because you know Granny only needed it probably for one thing. Is she, I mean... No, these are... Here, hand me that remote. we gotta get, we got to get it. Oh, my gosh. I caught that on camera. Mom, I just caught it like this on camera. Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 We don't need that remote anymore. It's all right. I will need it someday. We found it. You ready? No, it's Disney Sing Along. No, it's called Disneyland Fun. The, the one you're talking about with Matterhorn, and we always thought it was Space Mountain this whole time. Well, oh no, we don't want politics. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not. This is it. Yeah. Tell mom to go away. <laughs> No, you can. Where's the ball, though? There's no ball. No one is singing right. Who doesn't know the words? I'm walking right down the middle of me. We didn't ask you to sing along, actually. <laughs> Did you just say everybody in this movie's dead? <laughs> it was filmed 20 years ago. You did she not just say that, Joey? Okay, so this came out the year I was born. Yes. Are we all dead now? <laughs> I do have a question for you out there. Yes. How come we've never been on any vacation in the entire world growing up except for Disney? Twice a year, every year. That's a good question, Joey. Joey agrees. But then now that I'm older, you think it's weird that I'm obsessed with it, but you put this into my head from birth. Twice a year, and then she'd shove us down there in the summers to live with our grandparents and <laughs> make us go to Disney. Not. I did have a great growing up. But you never took us to Disneyland. So size matters. <laughs> Well, they swear make tonsillary as long as it looks fun, don't they? <laughs> it's just hot and full of like stinky caves. Oh no. Like, do you not remember watching this and thinking, why is Splash Mountain on TV lined up like that and it's not side by side? Yeah, you were a big baby. Okay, but what about, all right, when you see the Matterhorn, and I thought that was Space Mountain this whole time. Didn't you think, like, why does Space Mountain look like that on, on TV? You were confused, right? You didn't realize this was Disneyland, and you thought it was just Disney World, but, like, different for TV. Right? Talk to me here, right? Yeah, right. You didn't know there was a Disneyland and a Disney World. You thought it was all the same place we always go to. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah, and I never gave an up. I know. I look so beautiful right now. I never gave an update on how much weight I gained from all the food I consumed. I don't, I, I didn't even gain like a pound. So I got really, what? Yet? That was like over a month ago, two months ago. I used this in my, my B-roll for my Magic Kingdom vlog. I just Snapchatted my cousin Kira, us watching this. Her reply is, you guys are really living on the edge. I don't know what that's supposed to stink and mean. So I'd like to know what exciting thing she's doing that she's living on the edge today. And I said, Frozen? Is that better than the sing-alongs? I guess we're just going to wait and see. You can clap now. 
There's a Dalmatian sing along. What? Looky, looky, looky! Looky! See the Dalmatian puppies? Oh, you see them? You see them? You're such a pretty girl. Yeah! That's you! Oh no! Oh no! Go get it! He's got it! Get it from him! Come on, Gracie! Where is it? Oh no! I got it! <laughs> Gracie does not like when you take her collar off. <laughs> Wait! Go get it! Joey's got it! <laughs> Jumping over hurdles and not trip. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'll put it back, I'll put it back! I just want to point out as a daughter that everything went to the attic. Last box! No! The bottom half the tree! Here! We've had the opportunity to meet and work with a lot of wonderful people. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that was all started by a mouse. Now that's why I want this part of the